So now we're going to look at the effective modulus method. So in this method, we'll essentially model creep, er, creep by modeling our concrete as softer than it actually is. So let's say we have a some stress-strain relationship for our concrete. And we say that at some point we'll have uh, an, e an initial concrete strength of FCI. Um, so if we take the slope, we can say that this is our initial concrete modulus. So what will happen is, uh, you know, we'll have this in initial deformation caused by the stress, whatever applied stress there is, and uh, this deformation will, or the stress will be resisted by the stiffness. Um, so over time, our deformation is going to increase. So what will happen is essentially our apparent stiffness is also, or is going to decrease. So this will result in an EC effective, or a, an effective modulus. And this effective modulus uh, we can calculate uh, just equaling our uh, EC over 1 plus our creep coefficient. 